Gone. Exactly. Don't know what's gone. Exactly. Yes. Um, I'm wondering about tires and, and attrition. I mean, I mean, they're on Nitto tires. They're they're road tires. They're not race. They're not slicks or anything like that. But um, you know, keeping tires underneath the vehicle and seeing if they're going to last the hundred laps. Well, when you see how loose some of those those Crown Vicks were, mm -hmm. I mean, in smoking that right rear, that that's smoke is something. It, right. It's taking rubber off that tire. So, and remember, right now the plan is. 100 green flag laps. You may say, well, they'll have a lot of caution, so that'll help them conserve tires. Going into this race, the caution laps do not count. It is 100 green flag laps. So. Good. Well noted. And also, they're going to be a little lenient on cautions, too. Only time, They're, they're going to kind of let them rub in his racing, right, going for it. Well, the only real true caution that we're going to see is if somebody pushes them up up into the wall. They yes. don't They don't want to see that kind of malicious, you know, we want everybody to be safe. I mean, these have, you know, harnesses, they have cages, so they're they're properly outfitted safety-wise, but that's the only true time you're going to see a true caution. They're going to do what I've been screaming at college football referees to do for several years. Swallow the whistle, man. Let them play football. <laughs> We're going to let them race here tonight. That's right. Roll Tide, right? You, <laughs> that's I, it. I, I, I saw your mask here, and obviously, you know, since we're, since we're on camera, take the mask off. We're going to have some fun. We can, man, the place looks great. From, from 2.4 hours of Le Mans to now, man, Cletus and the whole team, they just did such a bang-up job. It looks really nice. I, I was blown away. You were here roughly a year mm -hmm. ago for yep. the first Freedom 500. I was here in November for the 2.4 hour of Le Mans. And, of course, the biggest thing, uh, very different from when you were here, yep. very different when I was here, is seeing all of these fans in the grandstands. That just, that just it gives me goosebumps because I guess we've been racing – for so many months now, well over a year, yeah. with either no matter what type of racing, with either no crowd, very limited crowd, we got them packed in here tonight. In fact, we keep telling them, tighten up yep. where we can get some more folks in this place. That's right. That's right. Hey, fans here at Freedom Factory, let me hear you stomp your feet. Let's see how loud we can get this place. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, let's let's get a wave going, Spence? Spence, you down there? Are you with me, bro? You want to get, yeah, get, get, a, a get a wave going? Yeah, let's get a wave going. Yeah, good old let's wave. Get a wave going. But first, I like that bleacher. Fuck you going. Let's do two on the feet, one on the hands. Ready? Let's go. Oh, they got it. Right, they got it. Going. Let's go. That's pretty good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get a wave. We're Don't break the bleachers. I was going to say, go easy on Cletus's bleachers here now. Yeah, but we're going to put them through the test with all that money he spent on them. So we got to test and make sure they work. All right, we're going to get a wave starting down this side. Can you guys see me? You guys are starting, all right? All the way down at the end. On three. One, Send it. Two, three. Send it. There we bring go. Bring it down. Bring it down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go all the way through. Spence, oh, is, there, is, there, is there a riptide? Is it going back? Can the fans go? Can it go back? We'll see how much skill they got, buddy. Bring Send it back. back. Bring it back. Coming back to Send the it back. Bring it back. Send it back. Oh, there back. we go. That's what I need to see. Hey, Spence, have you ever done the audio wave? It's something that I invented, which is pretty fun. <laughs> have you ever done the audio wave? I haven't done that, man. Okay, let's, let's do the shock wave. Okay, everybody, everybody sit down real quick, okay? All right. Now, where's Spencer? Where you started it? Yeah. Like the wave, but you, everybody's going to yell, woo! Okay? Okay. So it's the audio wave. You start it, okay? All right. So we're going to start down there on my cue. It's going to be a verbal audio wave. Yes, sir. So just give me a, instead of doing a woo, let's do a yee yee. Okay. All right. Let's do a yee yee. So on that end, where you started, you're going to give me your yee yee. It's going to start going all the way through. All right. On that end, one, two, three. Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh! Good stuff, right? Okay. All right. Send it back. Send it back. <laughs> All right, that's good. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Have you ever done one of those, Spence? What would you guys think of the qualifying? Did you guys hear me talking to Whistling Diesel over there? He said he's willing to trade half his tank of gas for another bottle of nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he's pretty much goosed on that whole bottle. But it sounded like a spicy qualify. I couldn't see it, but I heard you guys losing your minds over it, splitting your wigs wide open. That was pretty spicy, huh? So did you guys find out yet who was the number one qualifier? Oh, I, I got it. You guys want to hear the top three? All right. First place qualifier, Alex Bowman. Okay, that's expected, NASCAR race driver. Then second qualifier was Kevin with KSR. Build it. Yeah, that's a good one, man. That guy can drive. All right, I'll rip through these. Third, Tanner Faust. Pretty impressive. 
fourth, Vice Grip, Vice Grip Garage. Number five. Number five. Number five. Number five. Test. Number five, we got Whistling Diesel with that spicy laugh. <laughs> Pretty crazy there. Then we had Randy Popes, number six. TP, number 199, Travis Pastrana at number seven. Ryan Turk in the red Toyota, the only non-crown Vic out there, number eight. Then we got Haley Deegan bringing up the front of the pack at number nine. Nick Seuss from Side by Side Blog, Big Dogs Only, number 10, Adam LZ, 11. Jack Stan, Jimmy James Tal, number 12. Chelsea Denofa sitting right behind him in 13, followed up by Brent with PFI Speed, number 14. Let's hear it for Brent. Okay, local favorite, fan favorite. Then we got Blake Wilkie, Shreddy Life, number 15. Heavy D, 16. Taylor Ray at 17. Then we got Diesel Dave bringing it at 18. You guys aren't gonna believe this. I think he's sandbagging. Cletus McFarland, number 19. You think that's a smart play? Start in the back of the field, save his car. Last place qualifier right now, we have number 20 at uh, Sean with Murder Nova. Now, I gotta tell you guys this. The first five qualifiers were within .3 seconds of each other. So it's a very tight field we have going on here. Jared, what do you think of that? The tight field, first top five within three tenths of a second? It, it's a tight one, man. And Larry and I are up here and we're wrapping out. And I just got a text from, uh, from Justin at Heat Wave. You know, he sports Cletus. He says, who you got your money on? I'm gonna say. Tanner Faust. I think Tanner. I think Tanner's a real contender. But you know, I don't know if you heard us talk about it, Spence. But uh, Tanner's never raced an oval asphalt. So what, who do you have your money on there, Larry? Yeah, I definitely think you can tell Tanner's taking this serious. I mean, okay. he's here to have fun. Don't right. get me wrong, but he is taking this serious, and I think they even talked about it. He's trying to figure out how can I find another tenth? How can I find another tenth? But I think Alex Bowman. Starting this race from the pole, he controls the race. And, mm -hmm. and Alex is used to these longer races, has a lot of laps here. Mm -hmm. You know, I think if you're going to win this race, you're going to have to beat Alex Bowman in that 48 car. Yep, or the car is going to have to beat him. <laughs> Don't beat yourself. <laughs> yeah. Don't beat yourself. Don't beat yourself. Don't overdrive. Spence, you're doing an awesome job down there. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my brother. As we got the drone coming in, and we got the 48. Who's out there in that 48? That's Alex Bowman. There's your number one qualifier. After him, you see Kevin KSR, the 78. Yes, sir. Yeah, Kevin Smith, uh, KSR Performance Fabrication. They do a lot of work for Cletus McFarlane. I was talking with him today. He has three daughters. His oldest daughter, Karis, is 10 years old. He said, look what she gave me before I came down here. It's a <laughs> bracelet she made that just simply said, a racer he was so proud to be sporting <laughs> that bracelet that's awesome well there is our pace car again the summit racing equipment van and we got our number one and number two qualifier we'll get all the vehicles out here that's where you're going to scream spence what do you got down there bud dude i'm getting down here i got to interview alex bowman our number one qualifier come yeah. here bud the van's got to hear from you what you got out there <laughs> how you did it first and foremost kevin the first top five qualifiers were all within three tenths of a second of each other so you guys are not safe yet How'd you do, bud? Uh, I just floored it. So, uh, no, it, it drove pretty good. I'm, I'm ready to rip here. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool people out here. Really cool to see this many fans in the stands. Um, yeah, thank you guys for all coming out. Really appreciate it. We're going to put on a hell of a show. Awesome, man. I, I have no doubt that you guys are. We got Tanner Faust right here in the third place. And he was talking to me back here saying, like, I've never been in an oval. Oh, you did get pool noodles in there, dude. Is that helping you? Yeah, the pool neuters, are, they're the secret. I can't even say them. But, yeah, I, I stole it from somebody, and I uh, just zip tied them to the seat. It's like a lumbar on the side. Honestly, police should do that in their cruisers, man. It's badass. Awesome, dude. Well, it's uh, super crazy to see that you came out here, no experience on oval, and then you pull a third-place qualifier. I mean, I've been talking to these guys. They said the qualifying means almost nothing with 100 laps of carnage going on. So, But I'm going to take it. It's going to be a blast. I mean, look who I've got right behind me here the master of disaster, so it should be good. Well, let's go see what he has to say. All right, what are you cleaning it for, dude? You're gonna wreck it in 30 seconds. Take that helmet off, let me talk to you. You're stuck in there, you don't know how to get out. You're, you're good, you're good. <laughs> All right, Randy Pope's getting the crowd wild. All right, Whistling Diesel, what the hell happened out there? It, I said, it doesn't run on gas very well. 
So I was just using nitrous the entire time, and I thought I could drift the entire circle, but it didn't work out. I realized that pretty quick, so uh, whatever, you know. Damn, it's crazy. You had everybody losing their mind over it. Dude, TP, what's good, man? I mean, who invited the NASCAR driver, really? <laughs> no, this is awesome. So cool to see an actual cup driver come out on the one weekend they have off like all year uh, to come play at the Freedom Factory. I'm so excited about this. When uh, when Cletus called, I was like, you got to be kidding me. Yes, whatever we're doing, I'm in. That's awesome. Well, thank you for showing up. You actually did pretty well. What are you, number seven? I think you're seventh or eighth, man. That's good. Yeah, you can't even get a workout in six. It's that seven's the number, you know? <laughs> awesome. We got side-by-side -side blog, Nick Seuss coming in, and then we had Ryan Turk, the only one in that Toyota sticking out like a sore thumb. Damn. Give it up for Ryan Turk, baby! Good job qualifying, man. Yo, Cleeter. What's the skinny, man? Second to last. Damn! That's all I'm talking about, dude. We got the right people here to race tonight. So, dude, qualified 19th. Oof. But listen, there was some drama on my lap on my qualifier. I don't know if you guys saw the drama. So I said, safe bet. I'm going to chill, let these guys finish out the most savage qualifying lap I've ever seen. And uh, I'm in the back of the pack. So y'all watch. I'm going to be climbing up to the front. But uh, Spence, man, you've been doing a great job. And Larry and Jared just killing it. Oh, we got Haley Deegan pulling up. It's OK. I'd say I was avoiding the drama, too. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Dude, Whistling Diesel, honestly, just a walking, like, content machine. You cannot get anything boring out of this guy. So give it up for Whistling. Let's hear it, dude. That was some awesome driving. Oh, we got a burnout. Still <laughs> qualified fit. Jack Stan Jimmy can't curb his enthusiasm. It, dude, it doesn't get better, man. Like, you always seem to prove your haters wrong. I love it. So. <laughs> All right, well, we're looking good, guys. Everyone hang out, enjoy yourselves. We'll be uh, doing the national anthem here in a few, and uh, we got a special surprise, too. So hang out. All right, we got Adam LZ here, just finished qualifying. How do you think you did with how you placed with everybody, bud? Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! man. Chelsea doing a standing oh, burnout. Oh, he's doing a hood stop on here. <laughs> Woo. Oh, my God. Only at the Freedom 500, folks. I believe I'd save that rubber on those tires. Right. <laughs> Jeez, dude, you got to use those tires, man. Zero chill, Chelsea. I don't They'll last this whole race and more. We'll be fine. Chelsea's telling me he thinks he got a dud of a car. I don't know if he's complaining because he wasn't allowed to cheat this year, not do his alignment or anything like that. I got Cletus knew what I was doing when I showed up. We're all good. <laughs> we like to give him a hard time. Oh, a banana for a lucky fan right there. Hold. Oh, we got another banana coming to the ground. Hey, hang on to that banana. He'll autograph it after the show. <laughs> Heavy banana. That banana, not your banana. That's that banana. Sparks. Nobody Whoa, show your spicy. banana. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things thrown in the grandstands. Bananas is not one of them. <laughs> What do you think, Jared? Isn't this crazy? Look, we got another oh banana. We got what? bananas flying. Oh, he's, he's doing the Mario Brothers thing. Next, we're going to see turtle hey, shells. Dave, Dave, we need some bananas down here. Dave, you can't, you're throwing your lunch. What is, yeah, what is Dude, going on here? Dude, he's throwing fried chicken. Fried chicken? This is a heck of a race. Wow. He's just, he's just cleaning the back seat out. Dinner and a, a show. A spicy pickle. Give it up. Who wants the spicy pickle? Oh, man. Oh, not going to be pretty. Oh, yeah. dude, you just threw away all your nutrition for the race. I'm fine. I'm full. I'm ready to go. The people need it more than I do. <laughs> you hear that, guys? He's doing it for the people. Never mind. He's got a whole banana tree in here. Oh. What he should do <laughs> is stick the bananas in the tailpipes of the competitors. Hey, now we're talking. Yo, banana in the tailpipe trick. Hey, hey, hey. It's right, a family hey, show. Hey, Spice, can I grab the mic for a sec? Yeah, dude. All right. All right, listen, guys. Pay attention for a sec. All right. This side, you guys are going to be hell yeah. This side... You're going to be brother, all right? Ready. Here we go. Hell yeah. Brother. Hell yeah. Brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How do you guys feel about being the first crowd at the second ever Freedom 500? Let's go, dude. I am so fired up. So. All right, Spicy, she's all yours, brother. 
Dude, well, thanks for letting me do my thing, man. I couldn't be happier. Your fans are the best. These guys are lit. Half of them can't stay seated. The other half's got too much bananas and fried chicken in their belly to stay standing. So, God. What did you guys think? I mean, we watched. The, how many of you guys saw the first pay per view of the first race? Oh, my God. You guys are the diehards. It's just so much sweeter seeing it live in person, huh? Who do you guys really think is going to be dead last? You think it'll be Nick Seuss from Side by Side Blog, dead last? <laughs> hey, come here, bud. Hey, hey, don't, sh don't show me that thumbs down. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Yeah. Get in the car, man. All right, put it back in. Put it back in. <laughs> Hey, I uh, just want to say uh, I'm going to win. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We have – what do we got? Oh, no, they're not yelling at me. Dude, how about a Bartle skeet? Who, which side wants Bartle? Which side wants skeet? Okay, this side's Bartle. All right, we got left side Bartle. Y'all going to be skeet. We're going to get it going real fast. I want to hear you guys echo off that side. I want the pit crews over there to be scared, shivering in their jeans, all right? On three, this side, Bartle. Skeet. You guys are nasty. You guys are crazy. All right, guys. Let's see how loud the fire and EMS guys can do Bartle Skeet. You ready? Hey, they did it. <laughs> Good job, boys. Awesome. Thank you guys for coming out. We couldn't do this without you. We appreciate y'all keeping us safe. So hopefully we give you guys. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. All right, do a kickflip. <laughs> hey, Spence, who, if this was a, a fashion contest, who has the best livery? Who has the, if, if we gave style points? Um, right here, 100%. LZ? Adam LZ's car is so gorgeous. Wow. He's got paint drips on. He's got multiple colors going. I think this is my favorite. Give it up for Adam LZ's livery. Okay. What about Chelsea DeNova's? You get a fat boo. So Spence, Spence, the car up here, the black 62. Now, I don't know about the looks, but I have never seen so much effort put into decorating a car as Haley Deegan and her crew. I, and they ran out of paint at the hardware store. That's actually concrete paint, spray paint that's on that car. And that livery should look familiar to you, Larry, because you were in Talladega Nights, and that's what it is. So it's got me, and then, of course, it's got to have the one-pound Pomeranian Rambo <laughs> on the hood. Right, Haley? All right, so I'm here down here at Haley's car. What color did this car start at? when you showed up today? It was a nice, solid monster green. And it's funny, I got a little backstory. Cletus texted me a picture of this car, and he's like, what number do you want? I was like, oh, I'll take 62. I had a whole game plan. And he texted me a picture of this green car. It said 29 on it. I was like, uh, that's not my car. I came here, and the stickers were upside down on it. So I was like, we got to spice this thing up. <laughs> Absolutely. I like your usage of the word spice. Spicy you know who spence. put those stickers on? Uh, the sticker wise, yeah, yeah. I think it was These guys right here put the stickers on upside down. Sorry, fellas, but <laughs> they did all the stickers, so they were working hard. So you said, hey, I got to get this thing black. You got the big me sticker, you got the Pomeranian. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of work we put into this. We threw my dog in the hood, uh, put the me on the front, and we're going to send it out there. That's awesome. Now, guys, give it up for our only female driver of the day, starting in the front half of the pack. Spence, I'm a little concerned. She says she's got her dog under the hood. What is is this one? This is one Pomeranian power. Yeah, it's one Pom power. Pom power. But she power. she has the one phrase that counts. I want to go fast. And that's all it is. <laughs> hey, there you go. All right, guys, let's hear it for the ladies. Add a baby. All right, who's gonna help me out, Jared? I'm tossing up to you. I gotta get ready. Warm up these vocal cords oh. for this national anthem. Oh, you get ready. You don't you don't need any prep, baby. We got Turk there. Turk, are you leaving already? What are you What are you doing here? You're You're leaving. You got gifts. Are you like uh are You like Santa Claus? You got the red suit on. Oh, no, no. What, what's he doing? What's he doing, Larry? You just never know. I think what he's doing is he's trying to tell everybody, look, just because I'm the lone Toyota Camry, mm -hmm. there is not a bullseye on the back of this. But there is one on Tanner's car, which looks a little, again, 
I don't know if that's a target or what it is. But, hey, hey, hey easy, easy. Tanner, they have to catch you before they can get to the target, right? Isn't that the way it works? That's okay. Right. That's, that's right. right. So uh, we, we have our 20 vehicles here. We are getting prepped for our national anthem. All right. So uh, as, as we are getting prepared here. Chelsea, you having fun, buddy? You, uh, you win uh, the, the least favorite car. So congratulations as far as livery. Yeah, so uh, uh, who, who, again, after seeing qualifying, you're saying Bowman is the guy to beat. He really has a target on his back. He, he definitely. I know Tanner Faust has the target literally on the back. <laughs> yeah. but, I, but to your point, Jared, I do think Tanner Faust, he's just going to get better and better and better. When he drove off into turn one for qualifying, first time on an oval, first mm -hmm. time on asphalt. Like I said earlier, he's raced about everything. One little thing that I found interesting looking at these cars today is it, they have the five-point racing harness. They have a few roll bars, but it's essentially a stock bucket seat. And I know talking to some of these drivers, the hardest thing, no matter how hard you pull yourself down on those belts, is staying in the seat. Well, I got to give credit to Taylor Ray in the 07 car. Sent his man, I think, to the local Walmart, Kmart, and bought, like, Swimming noodles, pool you noodles. know, pool noodles. Yeah, the foam. And they have taped them down or tie wrapped them down the side of each seat to kind of hold him to make a small little cocoon that's going to hold him in that seat. These, they're some of the most creative minds down there, and I guarantee you, every one of them, they're just like me. When they look at the rule book, they don't see what you can't do. They see what you can do. That's yep. the way you work a rule book. Yeah, that's right. And, and Tanner did have that set up, too. He did. He put the pool noodle. Everybody started looking at what's going on here and getting creative. Again, Chelsea was talking about maybe there's a concept, too, where maybe next race you get 30 minutes. You can do some things. Chelsea was saying that some of the guys, and I don't know if Haley did it. I say guys, just generally speaking here, they're taking the windshield washer fluid and the, and the hoses and having it spray on the tire to keep them cool. Well, oh boy! Oh, and again, it's it's monkey see, monkey do. Uh -huh. I know when I was here in November for the two point hour of La Mullets, uh, Alex Bowman, he started a fad. He kept looking inside the car, and he said, "Why do I need a back seat? Why do I need this upholstery?" And he just started ripping stuff out of the car because remember, the best place to move weight is out of the car. <laughs> That's the best thing you can do, especially with these old heavy Crown Vicks. Yeah. And next thing you know, everybody was ripping seats and, and interior, anything they didn't need, they didn't let them do that this time. The only thing they could do to these cars, other than Chelsea DeNova changes oil, which I still question mm -hmm. what changing the oil really means, uh, the only thing you could do is pretty much kind of paint your car up and decorate it a little bit. Right. I know he had to put some pens oil through the veins. That's, a, I think, contractual maybe. He had to have pens oil through the veins of that vehicle. I'm just glad OSHA didn't see how they had that thing <laughs> jacked up. That, right. that was a, that was yeah. an accident waiting to happen right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. I'm seeing the side-by-side -side blogs. And, uh, hey, uh, Sue, you didn't choose that pink color, did you? No, oh, I, 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 it really brings out your eye color, though. You look beautiful, and you got you got the side by side whip out back. Murder Nova in the back of the pack, man. Are you gonna bring it together? I don't. Did you see Murder Nova's toenails? They're painted bright red. I did not see that. I, I don't. I don't. You know, we, we talked about who was it? Was it uh, who had the who had the brace of their daughter? But I don't know who painted Murder Nova's toenails. But they they are they look pretty. They look really nice. I, I did not see that. But I, and the other thing I go back to, Jared, is Cletus McFarland. Remember, mm -hmm. he's the defending champion of yep. the Freedom 500. He said he has no problem winning his own race, no problem whatsoever. But starting 19th, and to hear him say, "I'm going to the front." That could either work out really good or really bad. Yeah. I just, I'm anxious to kind of watch how that works. Uh, he will be a man on a mission. He is, uh, he's the most humble guy he knows. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of pay homage and give some respect again to Cletus and his whole team. Thank you so much for just putting on an event like this, uh, acquiring the track, putting on this when you could watch it from home or be here in the building. But uh, I, had a, I had an opportunity to just listen in to Travis 199 and Cletus talking earlier. And Cletus actually wanted his number to be 199. But out of respect and with the potentiality of Travis Pastrana joining him at one of his events, he chose not to do 199 because the opportunity and potential of him coming out here. And look at this. Dreams come true. You know what I mean? I know Cletus has a lot of, uh, you know, just really admires, acknowledges, respects Travis Pastrana. So I think it's a, it's a cool kind of pinch me moment for, for Cletus to put on an event like this and have – 
somebody as uh, uh, legendary and iconic as Travis among just this such a cool, talented field. I mean, there's cameras everywhere. There's so much vlogging going on, all this content, and that's what we want the fans to do too is really enjoy it, embrace it. This is a celebration. I mean, just, just given, you know, how wacky and wild 2020 was, and here we are 2021. Freedom 500, baby. Summit Race Equipment. So blast. We, we are on our way back, and mm -hmm. it, it's it's the people of this country that's making this happen by yep. doing the things that we're supposed to, to be doing. Uh, I've been vaccinated, got my second shot one week ago tonight, got my card over my briefcase, so I'm very relieved to get that done. But, you know, numbers, you would think I'd be a big numbers guy. You know, being a crew chief for 18 years in the Cup Series, you would think the 28 number is very special to me, the three. And they are very special. But as I always told my son Brandon at races, mm -hmm. when you get caught up in numbers, they all look good no matter what number when they're sitting in victory lane with champagne dripping off of them. They all look good. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, we are getting ready here to, uh, to see some action. And uh, again, the national anthem will be unfolding. You can see the drivers just mingling down there. We're, uh, we're really excited about it. We have a special, special treat for you here, the national anthem, the opening ceremony. So just enjoy the sights and sounds here as we are getting prepped at the top of the hour. We'll, uh, we'll get Spicy Spence warming up his pipes, sing the national anthem. Like I said, a special, special surprise. Should be really cool. It really will be. Uh, something that uh, we always look forward to every single time we go racing for sure. All right, cameras are on. Our staff is ready. And Not sure what's going on. Looked like Cletus McFarland to pass some time. He's challenging some of the oh, other drivers Blake. to a foot race. Oh, we got a foot race a between foot race Wilkie. down on the skid pad. Oh my gosh! I, this stick to driving. Oh, Blake, the hair, I think, uh, gave him a little propulsion. The you know, the mullet might have slowed down. Old Cleeter here. It's kind of like that that chop top limousine, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> having conversations earlier with some of the drivers. Chelsea, um, he won in St. Louis last year at Formula Drift. He jumped off the wall and broke his heels. <laughs> that's not that's not what's the way you're supposed no, to celebrate. Yeah, not that's, at all. That's not, not a good ending whatsoever. No, from, from just absolute elation to falling on the ground and looking like Willy Wonka just as he tumbled uh, off the wall. Hey, Randy, you having fun down there? I see you got your uh, balaclava, you got your... The, the, the flying moose, the moose is loose, my friend. The 3113 Randy Popes, awesome cat. And then we got to the Vice Grip Garage, 1776, the Camo Livery. What's up, man? You having fun down there? You got a lot of fans here. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's walk through the names here. Who's cheering for Alex Bowman, the number 48? Who's cheering for Kevin of KSR in the 78? Who's pulling for number 34, Tanner Faust? The Golden Child, that's right. How about uh, 1776, the Vice Grip Garage? Well, one thing you want to pull, we talk about our men and women of the military. You notice the camouflage paint scheme on that 1776. And on the deck lid and on the hood is a thank you to our military. Let's give our military a big, big hand. All right, got the 01. You can see the stars and bars there on the roof looking a little General Lee-ish. That is who's pulling for Whistling Diesel, the 01. <laughs> you see him applauding Whistling Diesel, but he wants to take him down. Randy Popes, who's pulling for Randy? Moving on down the line, number 199. He's got a watermelon, question mark? TP Travis Pastrana. Oh, boy. Oh, we got bananas. We got fruit. We got fried chicken. And was that a strike or was that a gutter ball? I think that was a gutter ball there. Travis, that watermelon will make a whole lot bigger mess than those bananas on this front stretch. All right. And then next up we got number 411, Ryan Turk. In the Toyota Camry. All right. So moving on down the line. What about Haley Deegan? 
All right, we got the side-by-side -side blog, the pink killer destroyer, Sue. How are you going, man? All right, moving on down the line again in the 05, what uh, Spence thinks is the best-looking paint job out there, Adam LZ. James, get the toolbox, buddy, because you're driving that thing. You got Bush on the hood. He's pounding it. Make some noise for James Tall. 88 gold wheels looking like his Ford Mustang and FD. Definitely a different weapon of mass destruction. 88 Chelsea Danofa. All right. Oh, man, a lot, a lot of people uh, made some money betting on this gentleman in other races. See if he could deliver again. This is awesome. PFI Speed Brent. Got the pink stripe down the side of that vehicle. Make some noise for Blake Wilkie. We saw chicken. We saw bananas coming out of that vehicle. The number 801, Heavy D. He's got more bananas. Right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's like a fruit basket. He's going to throw out edible arrangements soon. All right, the bright gold, the gold member, the 07. That is Taylor Ray. Rounding out the Diesel gang, a lot of D's out here. Make some noise for Diesel Dave. This is the house that Freedom built, Freedom Factory Zone, the one, the only, Cletus McFarland. With the top 20 finish in qualifying. That's right, top 20 for this gentleman. His toenails are red, he has murdered out the 187. Make some noise for Sean Murder Nova. What's on his playlist? What do you think is playing right now? Oh, no, oh, I, thought, I thought he was listening to music right there. Maybe some K-pop or something like that. I feel like, you know, it would be a good, good, well, good time Well, hopefully starting 20th in a 20-car field, he's listening to something motivational to motivate him. Okay. It, it, there's only one way he can go. Mm-hmm. Left. <laughs> and straight to the front. All right. We are getting ready. Oh, look at, look at Cleeter, man. I mean, I, I know he's a pilot, but I didn't know he flew planes. Yeah, I've seen him in front-end loaders. I've seen him in bulldozers. But this may be a first right here. Of course, you notice the patriotic helmet right there. Oh, yeah. Red, white, and blue. This gentleman is amazing. Oh, he's getting strapped he's getting in. He's pretty serious about this. Send it. Thank you so much for joining us here. Freedom 500, Summit Racing Equipment, Freedom 500. Here at the Freedom Factory, I'm Jared Dienda, Larry McReynolds, a.k.a. Larry Mack. We're about to throw down. So if you would please stand, remove your hats. Thank you to all our first responders. Thank you to the military. Thank you for being part of the best country in the world, in my eyes. And now please stand, remove your hats as Spicy Spence sings the national anthem. Thank you guys so much. I'm super excited to do this for you guys. We are timing this thing up for a very special treat for each and every one of you. I'm going to get the green light from my main guy right now, him, just in a minute. But I want you all to know, I'm definitely not a professional. But I'm going to give it my all, because that's what we do here at the Freedom Factory, brother. Yeah. The same way only none of these guys are professional Crown Vic drivers, except that man. <laughs> he qualified 19th, by the way. Okay, you guys ready? Let's do this. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at 
at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts who we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner yet Who said he's not a professional singer? Ladies and gentlemen, the Freedom Factory has a great treat for you. Cletus has worked with his friends at Sierra Nevada Corporation and following the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. That is an A-29 Super Tucano light attack aircraft. And this is an honoring flyby. Thank you, honoring all of America as they are built by a partnership of Sierra Nevada and Ambry Air in our home state of Jacksonville, Florida. The combat proven A-29 is the gold standard of light attack and reconnaissance aircraft is the most reliable and cost-effective solution for basic and advanced flight and combat training. Close-in air support operations, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, counterinsurgency, and irregular warfare scenarios. The aircraft has already been selected by 15 air forces around the world to deliver these cost-effective capabilities. And that is that A-29 Super Takata. Make some noise for Spicy Spence! Woo! Nice job. And he said he's not a professional. Thank you guys so much. All right. Cletus, can I do the start your engines thing? Because I think it's about freaking that time. You guys ready to see some racing? All right. I need each and every one of you on your feet to help me with this. On your feet. All right. We're going to say start your engines on three. Actually, we're going to say drivers, start your engines. One, two. Three, drivers! Yeah, let's go racing, baby! Atta boy, Spence, getting the fans hyped. Man, listen to the purr of that Toyota Camry and 19 <laughs> Crown Victorias. Oh, man, awesome job. Great, thank you so much, Spence. Keeping the crowd hyped, keeping it going. I still haven't seen you cut off your, your pant legs yet. <laughs> I ain't cutting these rigs off. It's going to get cold here tonight. Oh, uh, there's James. He's throwing out his hat. Look at that. I mean, come on. Heavy D threw out chicken and bananas. You throw a hat, James? Please have some courtesy. Yes. Yeah, he was still throwing <laughs> more bananas right before he got into the car. But here's the deal, Jared. We've had qualifying. Yep. We've had limos race. Yes, sir. We've had driver intro. Uh huh. We've had the national anthem. Woo. We've had a flyover. We've had start your engines. I think it's time. To get on with it here. Let's send it, baby. That's what we do. Lick the stamp and send it. 20 vehicles. They are led by that Summit Racing Equipment van with that brand new Crate LS3. Look at that. We are in the cockpit with TP Travis Pastrana. Travis, we see you, bud. There it is. The signature double thumbs up. Nitro Circus's own. All right, do a backflip. Do a backflip, Trav. Come on, you got this. I think it's a little <laughs> late for that. <laughs> maybe maybe after the 100 lapper. He doesn't have the pool noodles. He does not have the pool noodles. He's got the Red Bull skid lid, of course. Um, man, tell you what, he's really good at beer pong. We played we played until the wee hours last night. Oh, he's got a banana, too. All right. You know what? I've watched Travis Pastrana do a lot of neat things. Mm -hmm. But to me, back in July of 2018, Las Vegas, Nevada, when he paid tribute to his role model, Evil Knievel by making three, not one, not two, but three 
record-breaking jumps with a motorcycle in a single day, 143 right. feet over 52 cars, 192 feet over 16 buses. But the one that gave me goosebumps yeah. was jumping over the famous Caesars Palace Fountain, a jump Evil Knievel failed at in 1967, right. but Travis succeeded and succeeded well. That's right. That's right. All right, there we are. Cletus, we got, we got, don't do anything incriminating. We got you on the camera there, brother. Hey, everybody make some noise for all the racers, if you will. We're throwing on those harnesses. We are getting hyped. We are getting ready to glow. Go and glow, by the way. Lights are going to come on. Go and glow. Tire, you got tire, it. Tires are going to get warmed up. We're going to get ready. But, again, Bowman, our number one qualifier. If you're just tuning in, we are live. I'm Jared Deanda. Larry Mack sitting next to me calling the action. And Spicy Spence just wrapping up. A beautiful – oh, the watermelon. The juice is loose. The watermelon has broken. What that, that could be a mess. That could be a mess right there. You know, looking at Cletus McFarlane there, we're here having fun. They're mm -hmm. going to beat and they're going to bang. But when you look, these drivers are required to have all the safety equipment. Yep. An SFI rating helmet, more than anything, the most important device is the head and neck restraint device that goes underneath those shoulder harnesses. They've got the five-point harness. You have to have the, the fireproof suit. Yep. Fireproof gloves, fireproof everything. So one thing, Cletus McFarland, we're here to have a good time, but safety first for these 20 drivers. Yeah, not safety third. No, no. Safety, safety first. One more thing on safety first, fellas, up there. I just want to remind everybody staying off this fence right here, your safety is our number one concern. So uh, especially you, you're my guinea pig. Tell this guy to move back on three. One, two, three. Move back. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are my safety enforcer. Back up to you, Jared. Larry. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Yep, safety is our number one priority, and we're going to find out who comes out on top. Uh, Bears repeating 100 laps, green laps. No, caution. Caution does not count. And uh, we'll see who comes out on top. And, and I liked what you said. Swallow the whistle. I've never, I've never heard that one. Let them race, man. Let them race. Let them race. We got the, the lit up tail whip there with the uh, stars and stripes out the back of the side-by-side -side blog. And we got a packed house here. We are super pumped. James, we'll see if he needs the toolbox for his own vehicle. Remember, six backup Crown Vicks. So uh, if, if one does break, you only get one. You can, you can only get one replacement. Travis Pastrana said, get mine ready. He knows he's going to send it maybe into the wall or into another vehicle. I want to know what whistling, uh, you know, whistling diesel just got bonkers. Speaking of all the bananas and all the fruit, he was bananas. But I, I'm wondering how his vehicle is going to say now. He says it just doesn't run good on gas, only on nitrous. Well, he doesn't have probably but about uh, 40 or 50 seconds of <laughs> nitrous oxide left. And, you know, the other thing is expect some flat tires. Yeah. We're going to have some flat oh, nitto yeah. tires. They've got five tire changers, but you have to go outside the racetrack in turn three. They've got five tire changers over there to change the tires on these Crown Vicks yep. and the one Toyota Camry, I might add. So uh, we, <laughs> you can expect some flat tires, right, no question. Right, and, I, and in the driver's meeting, um, I think Cleeter said that if you hit the pace car, you get bonus points. He might give you, <laughs> might give you an extra lap. Right, yeah, so go for it. Go and bash away that Summit Racing Equipment party van over there. And uh, I'm wondering how the, the track conditions are going to change. You know, the sun is setting. The lights will come on. And uh, Cletus and the whole team definitely invested a lot into the track to look like this. I mean, the grass is, whoo, I love golf. And to be honest, that looks that looks better than some of the golf courses I play. This this track looks beautiful. Yep. And one once again, before these car, cars roll off, you, the crowd, give yourself a hand for yep. coming out tonight. And uh, we, we've been, we've really been talking up, obviously, all the Crown Vicks. But uh, Bowman is a Chevy Crown Vic. Interesting. He's got a bow tie on the hood. He's taking care of that sponsor. <laughs> right. He's definitely doing the right thing there. Absolutely. Right. Exactly. Absolutely, exactly. he is. They almost look like a bunch of Easter eggs lined up down yep. there. Yep. See what I did there? I, I did. I okay. did. It's, it, it's super totes adorbs, Larry. Definitely. Yeah. It looks, uh, looks like taste the rainbow. We'll see uh, what Skittles, what flavor comes out on top. Bowman with that signature 48. He's got his full-on ally race suit. I'm telling you, Tanner, I, he's one to watch. He will surprise you. He is very talented. Randy Post, I'm, I, it, it really comes down to equipment, keeping the tires underneath the vehicle, not getting flats. What do we got? This is going to be an issue. You just saw Cletus McFarlane. It, for about the first 30 or 40 laps, 
going down the front straightaway into turn one. The sun is going to be an issue. Now, I looked at these cars closely. You would think they still maybe have the sun visors in them. <laughs> Just flip the sun visor down. That's all you got to do. Right. Get, get the meter going, right? Start the meter and put the visor down. And uh, I know Cletus has his heat waves on, so he's going to be blocking the sun and blocking out the haters. So uh, we'll see that. But uh, there it is. So there's TP. He's got his shades on. Let me see those driving gloves. Those He's got the slick. sun visor. There's oh, the there sun visor. We do have the sun visors in there. Good <laughs> look, stuff. Look at that. Uh, that would be one heck of a taxi ride. You jump in with uh, with Travis Estrana and uh, the big old giraffe. He's, he's shoehorned into that big old Crown Vic. And it, we talked about it being fairly cool, but mm -hmm. one thing that Cletus McFarlane, as we see him right here, told him at the driver's meeting, as far as he knows, the air conditioning works on That's all of right. these Crown Vicks. Under caution, you get a little bit hot, just reach over there and cut the air on. That's all you got to do. <laughs> nice, nice, nice 70, 70, 77 degrees in there. I'm seeing the hood being popped on Chelsea Denova's 88. What is going on there? Well, maybe it's something that they didn't do when they changed the oil earlier. Yeah, today. yeah. Maybe, maybe the headlight fluid was a little low or something. I don't know. The uh, hey. the, the water cooled muffler bearing might have gone out. Hey, Jared, can I help you? Can I get some help with you on something? What, real what do you need, button? Spence? What do you need? Hey, dude, I got like 20 people down here at the end that okay. paid paid for their entrance like everybody else but they just don't have a seat to sit and i want to see if we can get real friendly if you got some extra space i got two seats open over here thank you this is the kind of fans i want to see yes two more down here everybody on the end start coming over here we're going to find you guys some seats so you can watch this race anybody raise your hand if you got some extra seats please we got tons of seats down here. You guys, stand in there. Keep Start walking. Over here in the middle, Spence. Over in the middle, we got Thank some you. seats. Help me doing this. We're going to get this knocked out real quick. <coughs> reminds right, guys, me of church. Yeah, right. Tighten up. Tighten we're up gonna the find, middle. We're going to find you guys all seats. We got tons of seats in there, okay? Ah, uh, Spence. All right, guys, let me know if you got some spare seats. Everybody move in. Make some room for these folks. They, they want to watch the race just like the rest of you. There's no, ba you there's so no bad much. seat here as long as it's a seat. Seats? Come on, guys. We're gonna get you guys some seats. Five? You need five seats? All right, let's find five. Let's go. You're with me. You're Spence. on my hip. I'm finding five. They're I'm gonna sit. In, he's gonna offer up his lap. I'm telling you, he's an usher at church on Sunday. I can tell. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, is is anybody a tray gonna start five going around? Seats, they can kind of squeeze. Five guys. You know, they're pretty skinny. They don't need a lot. Right here. I got five a spot guys? for five right there. Go in once. Go in twice. Let's go. Five seats right up there. Give me a chance. 25, 25, 25, 30, 30, 30. We go down, we go down, 25, 30, then we go down. Okay. All right. Oh, man. I need six seats. We got a late entry with this John Deere forklift. What's going on here? You guys need seats? You sure? All right. Thank you, everybody, for helping me find some seats for these good American people. Who's ready to watch some racing? Hey, do you, got, do you guys know who's driving the pace vehicle today? When I say J-H, you say J-H, 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 J-H. That's what's up, baby. Let's hear it for J-H. Hey, Spence, how hyped are you about Dude. Cletus and Cars tomorrow, bud? What? How hyped are you about tomorrow? Cletus and Cars tomorrow Dude, going down. I'm too excited. How many of you fans are staying for Cletus and Cars? It's almost like you couldn't buy one ticket. You literally have to buy both. I don't care how many credit cards or how many airline miles you need to cash in for it. We're going to both. This guy's like, yep, that's me. I hey, did that. Also, I want, I want to know who came the furthest. Who came the furthest to this event, Spence? I want you to find that out. Uh, we're finding out that the nitrous broke on the 88. So exit stage left for what was the, the worst looking vehicle out here, Chelsea. Yeah. I love you, but yeah. come on, dude. You, yeah. you and your wife have way more it's style. Cleaner report what from that the will do is that will use up one of those That's six right. backup cars. I saw Chelsea get on a golf cart. They took him out the gate. So I'm sure he's getting in one of those backup cars here before the green flag even flies. I hey, love boy, how they're just. Cleaner reporting from the 99. Right? Yes, sir. All right, listen. I heard a little nitrous backfire. I guess Chelsea was just getting too fired up. Might have hit the nitrous button. So, you know what? It happens out here. You got nitrous on these bad girls. We're going to get some. Uh, we're going to get them a spare. And we're going to run this whole field, all 20 cars. So, Cletus, I do have a question. Yep. Do the backup cars have nitrous oxide? Now, some of them do, brother, and I guarantee you that first one probably does. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, he did point do the burnout, though, and then shut it off, you know. Yep. 
That's abuse, dude. Hey, abuse Cleeter, himself. where is the nitrous button? You said he might have accidentally hit it. Where is it at? Point to it. I mean, we got you it's, on the camera. It's right here on the left of the steering wheel. We actually put it on the dash now versus on the steering wheel because the cord is getting wrapped around the column. It happens, you know, it's just part of racing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what do, you think of the, what do you think of the idea? Chelsea had the concept of maybe next race you give everybody 30 minutes and they could do whatever they want. What do you think about that? Dude, well, here's, here's the deal. Some <laughs> of us are YouTubers, and some of us have the tagline in our email, chassis expert. And that's Chelsea Denopa. So I don't know if it's necessarily fair to let chassis experts set their cars up before the race. And, and then you got a couple of YouTubers like myself. We... I don't know how to set it up. So I don't know. I don't know. It's a spec series. I don't think I can can go for that. What, what do you think, Larry? Do you, do you think you get, get some more uh, creativity, more flexibility, or are you, are you like the spec concept? Yeah, I, I like I like the spec okay. because that that measures the talent. And uh, I do have one more ca question for Cletus, though. Cletus, we were just talking about the sun visors. How bad is that sun going to be going down the front straightaway, say, here in about 15 or 20 minutes before it goes all the way behind the oh. horizon? You know, luckily myself with my giraffe-like figure, model <laughs> – giraffe like figure my uh my like little sticker thing here is already blocking the sun so i'm dialed okay you're ready to go yeah, yeah just dialed. i could see you shading your eyes earlier and so on it's only going to get worse here for about the next 10 or 15 minutes before it gets better yeah i, I think i'm good i you know i'm surprised you're not say, wearing your you know is bowman he better pull it together i'm gonna be up there in just a few <laughs> Ooh, bow tie Bowman, and uh, I'm surprised you're not wearing your heat waves, bro. Got a text from Justin, and, and uh, I, I don't, I don't think he's, I don't think he has you pegged to win. I'm, I'm getting a text right now. Ooh, oh, I'm sorry, Cletus, but Justin from Heat Wave says uh, he doesn't have you, bro. Who do you think? Who do you think he's pulling for? Oh, he's busy. He's back to business. He's he back, is to, back business. to business. But back uh, to business. all right, so we are moments away from getting going here. We'll get Chelsea his new ride, the 88, and. Uh, I don't, I don't know if they have stickers ready to go or if it's just going to be the blank kind of hero car. I think it's just kind of try to get some numbers on it, but he will not be able to make the old change in this backup ah. car. He's got what he got here. Karma bit him. He is karma, what it is. Karma ended up getting him, but we'll see. It might might be a fresh. He might be really good. And like you said, all the vehicles, and uh, like Cleta said, they will have nitrous. So uh, get a full 10-pound bottle, 90 seconds of spray, get it going. So uh, as a uh, – Chelsea, we should be rolling hey, out. Hey, Jared, I'm right over here to the left of the booth. I'm trying to find a seat for me, see which section is my favorite group of fans. Okay. I think these guys are pretty spiced up over here. You like that spicy spence, don't Dude. you? Jared. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just saw a guy. He had six empty tall boy Bud Lights in front of him, and we haven't even done one lap. Yeah, my man. He's, he, dude, he's running on empty. He's going Damn. hard. That's he's crazy. he's got to remember it's a long race. You have to pace you, yourself. You know what I just thought of? He didn't bring you a beer or me no. a beer. No. Hey, where's where are those cans about? of Bush, bro? Bring me a <laughs> bring me a brewski, bro. Yeah, dude. Jared Bian is a huge beer guy. Larry Mack, what are you drinking? Kool Aid, Capri. He's Sun, a red wine guy. Tea? Yeah, I'm I'm a Cabernet guy. I'm gonna stick with water during the broadcast. Oh, I've got a 5:30 a.m. flight in the morning too. So oh, okay. yeah. I mean, just stay up all night and party with us, right? That's <laughs> no, the thing. I don't have a good feeling about that. Oh, yeah, you're never hung over for always drunk, man. You just keep the party going, right? Yep, yep. Hey, Spence, I, I asked you, but maybe you could pose the question, who here? Came, who came the furthest? Is everybody from Florida or is somebody out of, out of town? What's what right. this guy saying? I've got it right here. If you came from over 1,000 miles away, stand up. We're going to do this game. Oh, right? wow. Now, if it took you over 24 hours to drive here, stay standing. All right, so this guy takes a bunch of pits. Now, he pees a lot the whole trip. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. So how about this? If you came from over 1,500 miles to get here today, stay standing. Wow. All right, so in the line, if you came from further than Washington State, stand up. Stay standing. All right, we got these guys here. This guy came from Washington State. Give it up for Washington State, 36 hour drive Woo! to come watch the second and very first Public Freedom 500. That's what's awesome, you guys. This guy's holding a flag from some country they didn't teach me about in school. Is that a sweet? <laughs> what is that? That looks like a French fry with a blue background. Sweden? 
Sweden? What? Yo. I believe Sweden's got Washington State beat. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming. We're getting ready to race. Hang on to your britches. Put your bum on the Swedish. Here we go. All right. So we are ready to go racing. Spence looking good down there. Larry looking great. You got yourself. I'm double double the Larry, double your fun. We're ready to go and send it, bro. But, you know, we, we're talking about these. we're our fans. Yeah. We've got some drivers from Michigan, from Los Angeles, yep. from Utah. So these drivers came a long way yep. as well. Yeah, the, the Heavy D and, uh, and Diesel Dave, they showed up right before the driver's meeting went in there, and they were hyped, and they just, they just went right for it, man. So it's, it's awesome. I know Adam Elzey just showed up right before. So And they had not driven this course or the vehicles at all until you just saw their qualifying run. All right, are you ready to send it? Freedom Factory, start your engines, drivers! Let's go racing. And that Summit Racing Equipment van will be our pace car. Bonus points if you tap it. That's what Cletus said. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what bonus kind of weird laps. Bonus, bonus laps. Bonus laps. Points mean nothing. Bonus True. laps. Thank now, you. I wish you would look at <laughs> Chelsea <laughs> DeNova. Chelsea. He got him a number put on there on the hood and on the fender and door kind of slash. Oh, man, that thing, that thing looks like it's seen better days, but he's ready to go. The 88 is equipped with a new ride. There you go. Chelsea, I, you know what I used to call him when he, was a, when he competed in a, in a not formal drift prior to that? I used to call him, Chelsea, don't call me a girl, Denofa. <laughs> but do you know his wife's name? Chelsea. Literally. I did not know yeah. that. I met her today, but yeah. I did not know that was her name. Oh, I, I love the. So it looks like he's going to be able to – maintain his starting spot that's right backup yep. car not having to go to the rear. all good and you know what maybe it's a blessing that that happened right there during you know the driver intro of the national anthem uh how he found out the night just broke maybe it sprayed we don't know but again we're ready to go baby here we go 100 laps the second ever summit racing equipment freedom 500 stop your feet freedom factory What's the over under? The, all 20 make it through turns one and two, <laughs> unscathed. <laughs> I mean, we just saw, you know, Whistling Diesel go ham on and qualifying. I don't think we're going to make one lap before we see some calamity already out of the gate. All right. Again, that pace car sending them through. So here we go. And then we've got Cletus McFarlane in the 99 start 19th mm -hmm. that's saying, tell Bowman I will be there shortly. Just stand by. Yeah. He's buffering. He's buffering like a downloading a YouTube video right now. Taylor Ray trying to put some heat in his tires. The gold member, the luck of the Irish. We'll see if that brings him any luck. And there's Diesel Dave waving. He's going to throw some bananas, some more fried chicken. I don't know what other kind of size or condiments he's going to throw out there. But Bowman, he's going to get the clean air as soon as we get green. Look at the sun setting. This is, I mean, this is right out of, I mean, this looks like Days of Thunder. I mean, this is historic. So that, so Alex Bowman already working on our little Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van. The inside line, Alex Bowman, oh, Tanner Faust, Whistling Diesel. That's going to be an interesting line. All three of them lined up there on the bottom. Not to mention behind them, Travis Pastrana in oh, that yeah. 199. All right, looks at, look at Tanner Faust waving. Oh, we got Bernie's warming up the track. J.A. Oh, Diesel. Oh, my God. Woo! That is a way to warm it up. That is a banging burnout by the pace car, Spence. That was nuts. <laughs> you can't catch that at any other kind of racing, folks. No. Just Spence, Jared, happen. been racing for 40 years. That's a first. Seeing the pace <laughs> car or the pace truck do a burnout. That, that is, is a first. Right. All right, Bowman. I saw him, I saw him give a little, little love tap there. What, what do they call that when the racers you see in NASCAR, they go rub them on, on the door? That's I'm here. Remember me? <laughs> <laughs> Remember me? Right, right. You know my name. All right. He's waving the flag. So we got two laps, getting the pace. Like you said, look at that. Coming down, coming down that straightaway, you're looking right into the sun. That's got to be brutal. I know some of them, they've got the sun visors down. But, mm -hmm. uh, of course, Cletus McFarlane, he's got a little height on these guys. Yeah. You think about his height versus Haley Diggin. So, Jared, we're going to do something special. What you got, Lee? Freedom Factory, the night time is the right time. Everybody Reach up there and pull those feet. belts tight one more Get time. Larry Matt getting the crowd hype Let's Spence. Go racing. And here we go. Look at up in the bird's nest. You can see our starter. Green means go. Let's send it. Freedom Factory. Summit Racing Equipment. 
Freedom 500 is going down now. Send it, our 20 racers. Chelsea DeNova, he was three wide before they got through turn four in that 88 car. And he is three wide down the back straightaway. Look at that. We're seeing the 1776 and Tanner Faust already getting into it. A little bit of a tussle here and diving down to the bottom. Bottom, the whistling diesel 01, but Bowman still with the clean air out front. Bite Strip Garage, though, that 1776. Yep. Side by side. Bowman got real hop off a of turn two that time in the 48. Wow, look at that already. The Vice Grip Garage. He says, I don't even know what I'm doing here. All these famous people and awesome, but I'm gonna give it all I got. And right now, as you said, honoring the oh, look at that. We got some we got some action here. Tanner Faust with a target on his back. He's side by side with Bowman. So there's your one, two, and three. Vice Grip Garage, Tanner Faust, and Bowman. And there are quite a few car lengths back. The number 78. He is back there, and who, who, who's in the 70? That's KSR Kevin. I tell you, you got to watch Bowman. I watched him in the 2.4-hour Lamullets. He, he will save his equipment. Let mm -hmm. those guys go up there and use their stuff up. He'll just stay in touch with them. But Tampa oh! Bay. Oh! Oh! The 801. That is heavy D. The bananas. Oh, you trashed the grass. Just oh, a little bit. Just on the fringe. Oh, he's re-entering the picture. Slide into those DMs. Tanner Faust in that 34 car, though, he is oh, all over goodness. that. Oh, my 76. goodness. Oh, boy, the 801 throwing up a roadblock. What are you doing? Oh, man, Heavy D and the boys. Heavy D is just out here having fun. Oh, man, Heavy D throwing up the roadblock. Still throwing a roadblock. Right. I guess he's trying to stay on the lead lap is what he's trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way, Heavy D. And look at that. Tanner got some distance away from Bowman. Oh, no. Heavy D's getting into the, into the lead car. Wow, he is really throwing a wrench in the program right now. Oh, Tanner goes into the side of him. Hey, where's Cleeter? Cleeter's back there quite a bit. Oh, here we are. oh and look at that. Tanner gets spun by Heavy D. That was hard contact. Oh, wow. Heavy D gets punted. Is out. Oh, man, look at Whistling Diesel. That back right corner has seen better days, and we got a caution. That is why harnesses and cages are installed in these vehicles. Yeah, I thought we were going to get by without any major damage and then list at the last bit of that accident. Uh, Gets into Whistling Diesel. And to your point, a lot of damage on that on that car. So they will line them up in the order. Dude, Heavy D just went absolutely bonkers all over the track. Here's the replay. Watch this, the freedom replay. Heavy D gets to the side of Tanner, spins him out. Heavy D comes to a halt. But watch this, whammo. Yeah, that's that's that that like to have got really bad right there. Oh. That was in front of almost the entire field. Oh boy. Make some noise for Whistling Diesel here. He avoided the contact and qualifying, but Heavy D goes hard into him. T-Bone's the back end, spinning him out, causing some damage. We'll see if his car is runnable. All right, hey, Jared, I'm yes. down here on the fence looking at the front row seat of the damage on Whistling Diesel's car. Let's just say he didn't disappoint with destroying something today. I'm looking at a taco rim. The whole rear axle is crooked, but it wasn't his fault. He actually got hit by another driver. Did you guys see that action right up here? Was that some racing or what? Well, let's hope we can get Whistling Diesel back out there in another car here soon. All right, we're riding in here with Cletus. What was Heavy D doing? I wish you could go grab some words with him. He just went all over the track there, Spence. Hey, Chelsea Denofa with that replacement vehicle, he looks he looks to be uh, back up to snuff. But he put a whole new meaning to jump in the start of a race. Oh, really? <laughs> there, there's I no, no question. I did I think not see it. He made up about four or five spots before they ever came out of turn four. <laughs> <laughs> so Cleeter making claims. He said, hey, Bowman, I'm coming for you. He's still in the back of the pack. He's currently sitting 18th. So we've got we've got Tanner Faust in the uh, 34 car. Mm -hmm. He went behind the wall over oh, to the garage right. area. And we're on lap six. Remember, right now, caution laps are not counting. The Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van has them really 
slowed down right now while they try to get things cleaned up here coming off turn four on the front straightaway. And we are hearing, I'm getting word from uh, Chelsea Denofa's wife, Chelsea. She says that Chelsea does not have nitrous, does not have nitrous in that car. Okay. In Cletus told us some do, some don't. Exactly. So that one doesn't. All right. Looks like uh, Whistling Diesel, the 01's being pulled off. We'll see if he re-enters with another 01. And obviously, like you said, Tanner exit stage left. We are only six laps in of 100. You know what? I expected Carnage prior to six laps to be to be completely I didn't fair. think they'd make it through turn one and two, but remember, <laughs> double file restart. So yep. with Tanner Faust having his issue, that's going to put Alex Bowman in that 48 car on the outside of the front row. And look who's back there on the inside of the second row, Travis Pastrana in that 199. Looks like we're going to stop him here on the front stretch just for a second. Adam LZ re-entering. He looks like he, uh, he exited stage left as well, but he is back. Wonder what happened to him. Hey, what do you guys think, Freedom Factory? You loving this stuff or what? Hell yeah, brother. From the looks of one tire or one wheel being a different color, I would say he went and changed the tire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talking yeah. about Adam LZ. Yes, sir. Yeah, Adam, uh, just a, a really popular driver out here, a famous YouTuber. Just bought a huge facility here in Florida. Just uh, supposedly it's like 30 acres. And there are the uh, fresh nittos. On the back end there of Adam LZ's Crown Vic. Re-rack them, let's stack them. J.H. Diesel, you having fun, bud? Solid burnout there. You. All right. Track lights are turning on. The sun is setting. We are live, baby. Local time, 7.36. Six laps in. How many, I, I'm, I'm bad at math. Uh, that is 90, 94. 94. 94. Thank you, I, thank I'm you. from Alabama. I can even do that math. Come on, uh, Jerry. 10. 10. 10. <laughs> that's, that's what I can get to. You know, one thing about it, when the sun does go down and we get into, into more of darkness, we will be able to see those yellow lights on the deck lid, which indicates that the driver is into the nitrous oxide. But I just want to iterate, only 90 seconds worth of nitrous oxide. So do you use it early? I believe I'd want to save just a little bit. Yeah, save a little in the tank for those final 10 laps. I think you said that earlier. Is I think what the plot's really going to start to to thicken at those final 10 laps. <laughs> Looks like to me the plot thickened in the first 10 laps. <laughs> it thickened in qualifying. <laughs> I just can't get over uh, whistling diesel, man. So we got that John Deere. It's still back out there. We got our official down on the ground. The watermelon uh, salad is still out there on the skid pad. Um, I, I, I think... Cleeter will be sending Heavy D a bill for the grass damage. I mean, you don't you you, you got to respect a man's lawn. You know, you, it, it, it 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 just pristine, and he just just caught the edge of it, just the edge of it. Yeah, it, uh, no, but then remember he went around, he went and took over the lead. He was a lap down, and he went across the grass. I don't know what's going what's going on with that man. He's throwing out chicken. He's trashing the grass. He's he's hopped up like a spider monkey. You know, we talked about Chelsea DeNova, that 88 car, mm -hmm. that, as we look at Cletus McFarlane, but Chelsea's original car that never took the green flag, that's one of the ones you and I were looking at today. You could tell it was an ex-Orlando police car. A lot of <laughs> yeah. these Crown Vicks are <laughs> right, right. one-time police cars. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to find where is, where is Chelsea at? Uh, he is in fourth right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, he should he, he should be there. So I'm trying to trying to re-rack him, but Vice Grip Garage. Oh, and there is Whistling Diesel. He is back. Doesn't have the slick orange paint job now. But the 1776, so the 01 Whistling Diesel, he'll get re-racked into fourth. But like I said, I'm, I'm not seeing uh, I'm not seeing Chelsea up here. On the uh, on the restart. On our, on our score, yeah. 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 At 144. PFI speed Brent. Brent. So we already we're already two backup vehicles into the six. So now only four cars are backups to the original rides of these gladiators of Freedom 500 at the Freedom Factory, the house that Freedom built. Hey, if you guys haven't already checked it out, baldeagle.com is officially 
a website that Cletus bought, and he wanted to let freedom ring, so he said, BaldEagle.com, that's mine. And it takes you right to the CletusMcFarland.com website. So tell your friends, BaldEagle.com, where you get all your Cleter goods. Is it amazing? Look at all the merch that, that Cletus has got, his whole family. He's, this guy's got his Freedom Factory lifeguard hat. Looks good, bro. Thanks for coming out. The line for the merchandise trailer yep. was about four times longer than the line for the beers. Right, <laughs> exactly. They just uh, should have had a bundle there. But uh, uh, I saw, saw Cletus' mom and dad, his, his brother out here. It is, it is truly a family affair here at Freedom Factory, and I'm sure – Cletus welcomes everybody, and he said it. He welcomes everybody like family. Spence, what do you what do you got there, buddy? I see that smirk. Dude, I'm just up here on the fence, looking at all these fans losing their cool. This guy with the biggest belt buckle in the game. Yeah. Who's having a good time here? Now at, at drift night, y'all were like throwing me beers and hot dogs and stuff, and I'm hungry and I'm looking around. Oh, there we go. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> no, you guys are great. Who's having a good time? All right, hey what guys, do you guys think of the race so the long, far with these guys up front? This is Cleeter in the car. Excuse the long caution. We got some people who don't know how to keep track of what position they're in. So we're getting it resorted, dude. This is the Freedom 500. You got to do what you got to do. So hang tight. Cleeter, heavy D trashed your grass, and he just absolutely threw a